Heartbreak tonight for a family in Pompano Beach. A toddler has died after an incident involving a piece of furniture. CBS 4's Bobeth Yates is following the investigation. Yes, Broward Sheriff's Office deputies continues to investigate the death of a two-year-old Pompano child. And while they aren't giving us much details, we do know that a piece of furniture was involved. An incident involving a piece of furniture led to a medical emergency for a child. Uh, the child was pronounced deceased. According to Broward Sheriff's Office, a two-year-old Hope was pronounced dead this morning after a tragic accident in her bedroom. Neighbors say this is a picture of Hope who just celebrated a birthday, and they recount the moments after the incident. I heard just, uh, I'm going to explain it just the way I felt. It was god-awful god guttural screaming, and not kids playing, not people fighting, just something terrible just happened. To think of something horrible happening to their little girl, which is what I felt in my gut, just it made me want to cry. While officials are not providing the full details of the incident, the fact that furniture was involved has renewed concerns about child-proofing homes. And in this dramatization training video, you can see just how dangerous it can be. What we do know as a very sobering fact is that between 2000 and 2019, unfortunately, just over 450 children under the age of 17 have been killed by furniture or TV tip overs. Walsh is with the U.S. Product Safety Commission, and he says the number is even worse when you consider other injuries that have led to emergency room visits, with more than 11,000 children being admitted to the hospital. And he adds the solution is as simple as using a kit to anchor furniture to the wall. They're very inexpensive. They can be as little as $5 and you can install them in a question of minutes. And while BSO continues to investigate the exact circumstances that led up to Hope's death, they say one thing is certain, she will be missed. This is a devastating loss for this family. Any loss of life is tragic. Again, BSO has not released the exact role the furniture played in the child's death, and they say they're continuing to investigate. Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News, tonight.